does the state wish to open? So the state's going to waive the right to open and reserve the right to close. Very well. From the defense, please. Yeah, please, the court. Um, this is our opportunity, both the state the prosecutors and the defense, to come to you with what we believe to be the status of the evidence presented in this case uh, of solicitation of capital murder, obviously Leon Jacob being the defendant. Um, I want us to go back through the course of the testimony to suggest to you that the items that we talked about in Bore Dyer, uh, reasonable proof, reasonable doubt, burden of proof, affected the indictment, uh, that those items apply specifically now to your consideration in the jury room. When you take a look at the evidence, and apply the evidence to the law as the court has instructed you, and you'll be able to take a copy of that instruction back. If there ever is at any time any questions that you might have about what the evidence did in fact show, uh, you can always request to be permitted to come out and have portions of the testimony read back to you. Leon Jacob. Mr. Kubosh. Mr. Kubosh tells you that Leon Jacob came to his office looking for Zach and that he wanted Macon to go. Now, you heard in questions by the prosecutor that the words to go are unequivocal, meaning that in her mind and through questions of the witness to place in your mind, to go means to kill. Leon Jacob wanted Megan gone to Pittsburgh. No question about that. Talks to Kubosh about that. Kubosh is alerted, is concerned. Uh, there's never the word kill ever used, never the word harm ever used in conversation with Kubosh. Uh, simply wanting to find Zach and have her go. Now, I'm going to suggest to you something. And, you know, I, I think it, it, you know, again, what we say is not evidence, huh? And what, what the prosecutor says is not evidence. But put yourself in the shoes of a person who's going to commit capital murder, right? That's my idea. I'll, I'll play the role of uh, a person who wants to commit capital murder. Uh, am I going to go to a city council person? Am I going to have a conversation with a city council who has not only contacts with uh, individuals as a lawyer uh, or even as a non-lawyer, but has contacts with judges, police officers, pays uh, uh, votes on salaries? Am I going to go to a city council person to find, to have him help me find a man who is going to go out and kill somebody? Makes no sense. Makes no sense. You go to a city council person, as Leon did, to find a third party. Because you want to get money to that third party and you don't want to be the person that encourages that third party to leave by way of giving money to that individual. Um, I submit to you that the entirety of the visitation with Kubosh uh, is and underscores our position that 
Leon Jacob is not guilty of solicitation of capital murder. Um, you've heard about options. You've heard three options in this case, and I think um, I wrote her name down as Laura. Just, just, she was a witness early on during the course of this case. And if you remember correctly, she is the one that worked for Tom Thurlow's office. And uh, she was approached by Leon. And uh, basically, she testified that there were three options because he knew that she knew Megan. Now, let me dissect for just a moment. There is no question, nor can there be in the mind of anybody in this courtroom, that Leon Jacob desperately loved this girl. Um, and again, as I mentioned in opening, you don't kill somebody that you desperately love. Um, in any event, we have Laura saying that Leon Jacob talked about three options. The first option was to have her, have Megan come back with him. And if that wasn't the case, he was going to rely on Laura to convince Megan <coughs> to leave town. And then Laura says the third option, and again, the desperate lover, not that you would do this, not that I would do this, but who can say what goes on through the mind of a desperate lover? Give her a syringe, inject her with the syringe, put her in the car. When she wakes up, I will talk with her and convince her to come back to, to me so that we can come together again. That's what he tells Laura. And that's what Laura testifies to. Is that the mindset of a capital murderer? when the individual that you have selected to come back to you is the individual that the state contends through the testimony of their officers is the individual that you intend to commit capital murder. Kubosh from another angle. <coughs> Kubosh then determines, based on the conversation that he has with Leon, there's no killing, not that, that's not part, there's no conversation of killing, there's no conversation of hurting. Um, Kubosh then <coughs> determines that he has a concern. And everything from that day forward <coughs> is actions by the state of Texas, actions by the officers, from staging Megan and Mac tied up, Mac shot in the head, a stage, <coughs> to um, everything else beyond that initial meeting with Kubosh is all set up by the state of Texas. You can see it. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, every, every act that they have presented to this jury is all instigated by the police department after that Olive Garden conversation. There's no question about it. They've invested a great deal of effort, a great deal of public money into this particular investigation, and there's no way that they're going to back away from trying to complete this investigation with a verdict from this jury that convicts Leon Jacob of solicitation of capital murder. Uh, I'm going to submit to you that um, 
based on all of the evidence, and we've talked about those three options, um, based on all of the evidence presented to this jury, that um, reasonable doubt is all over the place. And reasonable doubt is whether or not Leon Jacob actually uh, determined that he was going to solicit the death of Megan and is guilty of solicitation of capital murder. I suggest to you that he is not guilty of the solicitation of capital murder. I'm going to ask this jury to go back to the jury room, take whatever evidence you need back. If you need further evidence, if you need uh, testimony read to you, you can ask for that. Go back to that jury room and make a determination based on what you've heard uh, today and throughout the course of this very long week uh, and uh, come back with a verdict of not guilty uh, in this case. We appreciate your service uh, as members of this community. Uh, the prosecution has done this for a long time. You know how long I've done this for. And uh, I, I, every jury trial, I always, uh, I always sense the sacrifices that you people um, go through um, in not only having to come down here, but in having to listen to testimony and arguments and questions and answers, questions and responses by witnesses and defense lawyers and prosecutors. Um, I ask you to take that evidence back in the jury room and make your determination and come back with a verdict of not guilty. Thank you very much. I did not address the issue of solicitation of capital murder on the back. Um, the same argument applies. Um, there is no reason based in fact and in law to underscore a verdict to be returned of guilt as it relates to solicitation of capital murder relative to Mac. And I refer to him as Mac out of no disrespect, that's just the way that he's been referred to during the course of this case. Um, again, the same merits apply in my argument uh, to Mac as it does to uh, Megan. And I ask this jury to come back and find a verdict of not guilty as to both individuals. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Jim.